This is a two-part problem here. Uh, the first part, part A, we're going to use a limit definition of an improper integral to determine whether this integral that goes from 1 to infinity converges or diverges. That's all we have to do is just solve this using the limit definition of an improper integral. Now what does this mean, the limit definition? Well, what it means is, is that I'm, if I'm integrating from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx, the first thing I do is write it with the word limit in there. Limit as b goes to infinity of 1 to b x to the minus 2 dx. Now those two statements are the same, but when the, the directions say use limit definition, you got to put the limit in there. That's what they're meaning. That's how you solve an improper integral. Now uh, let's see, let's keep going here. Now all we have to do is just solve this integral all the way through the fundamental theorem and then take the limit. But the limit words that have to come with it. So the limit as b goes to infinity of x to the minus 2 plus 1 over minus 2 plus 1. Now the reason why I'm doing that from 1 to b is because, you know, don't make mistakes. Gosh, just don't. Equals limit as b goes to infinity of x to the minus 1 over minus 1 from 1 to b. I'm going to keep going down here. Equals. Now again, you want to simplify this as much as possible. That's why I'm taking my time here. Simplifying this, uh, this is 1 over x, and that just makes this all whole thing negative. So it's minus 1 over x from 1 to b. So now I'm going to use the fundamental theorem. Notice my limit notation is still coming along because I haven't even thought about that part yet. But the fundamental theorem says I take b and stick it in there. And I take 1 and stick it in there. And then I take the limit. Well, this guy here is just negative 1 or plus a negative 1. But this, I have to think about if b is getting larger and larger and larger, what happens to that fraction? It's like 1 over 10, 1 over 100, 1 over 1,000. Well, that fraction is getting smaller and going to 0. So I can say that this is equal to 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Therefore, the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx converges to 1.